Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm just going to show you how to do a quick, easy winged eyeliner for beginners just learning how to do their eyeliner. If you're just curious on how to do winged eyeliner, then please just keep watching. So first, I'm going to start off using the Scone Cosmetics Insanely Intense Tattoo Waterproof Eyeliner. And I'm going to first do a very thin line like right at the lash line some people like to start by the wing first and I don't know I just like to do the thin line first So, um, I find that a matte black eyeliner probably works the best to get, like, a flawless wing. You can use a shimmer one or, like, a satin finish one, but I feel like matte looks the best for some looks, but... So, I'm going to start at the very corner of my eye and just draw a straight line outwards, and I try to kind of aim towards, like, the tail of my brow. I kind of, like go towards that but some people like to go just straight or like up more it just depends on your preference but this is my way of doing it I draw it to about like there and then I go from the very outer part of the line and just connect it And it's okay if it's not perfect right away, I usually just kind of fix it afterwards. And I usually go a lot longer. So some really great drugstore eyeliners, liquid eyeliners, are the e.l.f. one. This is what I started off with, and I just get jet black. But seriously guys, this is a very, very nice liquid eyeliner. And I know another one is the Maybelline Studio one. And it comes in like a little like, I think it's like a gel eyeliner. I don't think it's a liquid one. But I heard that one's really great. The M Cosmetics, the E-M, M, whatever, Cosmetics Illustrative Eyeliner is also a really great one. Um, you can get a brush tip or a felt tip. I usually like a brush tip, which is like this EM Cosmetics and the e.l.f. one, and the felt tip is like this Scone Cosmetics one. I usually like the brush one. I feel like it applies a lot nicer, and it gets more like skinny, I guess. You can get a very like precise line, but today I am using the felt tip one, but I feel like it's kind of running out, or it's hard to go over my um, shimmer eyeshadow, but we're going to work with it. So again, it started at the way corner. And draw the line outwards. So a tip on trying to get your eyeliner like a straight cut line is to rest your elbow on something. I usually just rest it on my drawer or like the table or something but but that's just something that I do and I find that it really works so and to try to get your eyeliners really even is kind of do a little bit at a time and then compare and then go ahead and fix any things that you see might be different So after you got your wing eyeliner on, you can go ahead and apply some lashes or mascara. If you guys want a specific video on how to apply false lashes, I can totally do that for you. It's actually a lot easier than people think. 
I mean, right away it's really intimidating, but it gets better with practice, so. So after you got your lashes and mascara on, um, usually you can still kind of see the lash band of the falsies. So what you can do is you can take your eyeliner again and kind of go over that and you won't be able to see it as easily. So that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys that are learning how to do your eyeliner. Even if you don't want to do a wing, just even how to do it with good eyeliner tricks. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that it was helpful for the ones that are learning how, just learning how to do your eyeliner. When I was growing up and learning how, I just kind of would just do it and looking back at pictures, it's, it wasn't good. It wasn't. <laughs> but I mean, everybody goes through that phase where they don't know what they're doing and they just kind of do whatever. So. so I hope this was helpful in some way or another. So please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. So I didn't post any videos for like a whole week and I apologize for that. I had been so busy with work. Like literally I've been working every day. I haven't had time to film or edit anything. I had like a video or two done and I had no time to edit and whenever I did have time like not doing anything I wanted to be with my family or my boyfriend or whatever but um the summer is almost over and I will be going to college soon so I will be busy with packing and getting stuff ready to move so uh, it's been so hectic and I haven't even been able to see my family in the past like five days but anyways I apologize for that and I will try to get as many videos to you guys as I can but anyways yeah so thank you guys so much for watching